Is that intro? No. Mm. Okay. <laughs> let me let me put it myself. One, two, one. Okay, shop. Uh, what it is? Wagwan, Konichi Wagwan, it's your neighborhood bad man. Sam, aka him. And I'm not alone. I am with the homie, the best friend. Miss the cues, so yeah, I think I'm like, go. And now you can't see me because, yeah, but now you can't see me. <laughs> I am so sad. Always miss that cue. But yeah, I think I'm like, I can go, Benny. And I would like to welcome you guys to the diary session. So today we have a wonderful guest. I wouldn't say special. Should I say special? I am special. This is yeah. nothing is special. We have a special. <laughs> no. You know, like for me, he's really special Thank you. because so we'll talk about it once he's introduced himself. But yeah, please introduce yourself. You know what it is. Shout out. It's your boy. Yeah. yeah. So the reason why I say he's special to me is because mm. he was there for a pilot of a show that I was working on, mm. right? It was never released, but he was literally the first guest to be there, the first person I thought of when they said, you need to find a guest. I was like, he has to come yeah. because there's talent and whatnot. So I'll just let him introduce himself to you guys, yeah. tell you what he's all about. Why are you here? Introduce again. Yeah. No, not like his name and what, like his work. Oh. Yeah, I will. Don't be a hater. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Yeah. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah. Over to you, D-Ray. Love you both. Love you too. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm D-Ray. Mm-hmm. I'm an artist. I'm also a human being. Like I don't, I don't wanna lie. You know, making music and everything is nice, but I just love being human because I'm still sharing my experiences through that. But I'm an artist. I think to him, like no cap. I really do this in real life. Mm. Also, um, uh, in between, I love working with children. Like that's also healthy for me, personally, and for my mental health because those people are like, delicate. like they delicate, they sensitive, and you get to hear things that you never thought about from a young person. And their perspective is nice because they just have fun. Mm. Uh, they risk every day, and that element is. It's always nice to see that every day because it's like, wow, I can also stay young and you know, do what I want to do and be happy and enjoy the little things. So I do that too. And I just love hanging out. I'm a good soccer player. I do it all. You know, you know, hey, if you want me to pray for you, I'll pray for you. But that's pretty much what I do. But my full on passion is music. I love music so much. Mm. Um, it's, just, it's amazing, you know, being able to just make music, create, be in that space where my space, uh, my boy Sam Nkabiam knows that very well. Yeah. Works close to me and we enjoy everything. And I love that I don't force anything every time I record also. Mm. I think that's how I enjoy it. And that's why I've been doing it regardless of what people think or the results that people want. We're going to mm. get there. We just need to sacrifice more and work harder, you know, and just love what you do. So I love music. And also, I'm coming with the short stories and my documentary. Y'all better watch out. Yay. Yay. Watch out. Thank you. Okay. Let's get into your musical journey, right? How it started, who your influences were, like just at what age. Mm. Now you look like you're really thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's cool because... I never get asked these questions. Yeah. People see me rapping today. I'm like, oh, you're nice. Plus, I love rapping everywhere. Mm. If you know me, if there's a cypher, I'm not going to act like I don't, I'm not good at this. Like, it's not arrogance. It's just like proper confidence because I practice. Uh, soccer players have to practice. Everything that uh, comes with greatness takes time and practice and yes. everything. So they don't see the background or everything. So mm. I started when I was young. But before that, I mean, it's Javel, it's Bocho and everything. Like, I was all, I was always into, like, like art. art in general. Like, I was, I'm from Soweto originally. Yeah. So you can imagine. 
you know, Dobsonville is like surrounded by almost every hood, Midlands, Mdeni, Zola, what's happy song, and then everything just meshes into one. And then you get those influences. And then um, my brothers uh, from Lyra and Funding, they were like proper dancers in the group. I was part of that too for a long time. Boy. But then, yeah, man, I was, psh, boy, I can, I can dance. Don't look at my, my physique and think I'm just a rugby player. No, nah, man, I'm good with it. <laughs> Quick on the feet, <laughs> you know? So um, uh, I, I've i been in, involved in that. I even had a dance group at some point, like, for Wait, real. Didn't we all at one time? We did. Yeah, so <laughs> but really I'm talking about a real one, <laughs> a really crazy. real one. We compete. Same oh, on this listen. end. Can I finish? I'm, 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 don't make me. <laughs> Sorry. Please, don't make finish. me. Finish. But yeah. After that, like, I met my big homie, Juice. Like, mm. and then Juice introduced me to, like, Little Wayne. That's when everything, like, switched. I have never, I think I had never heard stuff like that in my life. I was just mm. like, what the hell? I think I was 10. So you can imagine what's happening in my brain. And also, I'd like to think that I was, like, smarter. Because the way I digested those things, I was like, what? I understand? Oh, that's, that's crazy. And then after that, you start... Uh, biting the lyrics that's the typical you download beats you freestyle yeah. eventually you meet the right people at 13 I met this other guy over he also makes music we were going to uh, Bumalanga for a World Cup match so we just we were just chilling so a beat goes off and I just started rapping but I wasn't rapping my own stuff I was reciting something from Wayne Yeah. and then he was like oh that's nice and then he gave me beats I don't know I don't remember I managed to record but I recorded like 10 songs and I was like what 14, 15 mm. Mm. and you could see the potential and then after that uh, I figured out that Wayne doesn't write mm. he freestyles okay I was like okay I had to study the dictionary also what influenced me to work on my English was when I came to Ranfantin for the first time at Green Hills yeah man those girls were hot but I couldn't speak the language, you know. I was just a boy from somewhere, so that's all it was, you know. So I was rough around the edges, very rough, like very rough. So and they were nice. Mm. It was mm. also like meeting nice people. It was like, oh, they want to hug me. That's just crazy. Like that. Look how pretty you is, you know. Yeah. Then you know, and then after that, I started chopping the dictionary. I started learning words. I think by grade ten, I was like already proper with that even at school they could see with their little tiny english you know how they treat you in the hood mm. when you actually like work on something yeah you know i worked on it and it it works for me trust me mm -hmm. mm. i got into many places because of that so yeah met varying a rap i recorded back in back at home rap with my friends who were okay this the way story stops here because i discovered tyler the creator that's when everything changed forever, ever, 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 ever. Because I'd never thought the same after that. Like, okay, but sometimes I am rude. I know that. Or maybe people misunderstand it. But I'm not saying you should just be brash. But just speak your mind. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'm, tr I'm still trying to find a way to, you know, make it uh, sound okay. Because, you know, we shouldn't offend everyone. I need to be considerate. Like, yes. I need to find a way to say, oh, this and this. Mm. I'm brash. I know that. Like, I'm loud. You know me. You're my friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. So, so I learned that freedom of speech, believing in yourself regardless. I did that for a long time. Also got baptized because I started throwing upside down crosses because I believed <laughs> our future was the way. My I feel friend. Like that's a lot of people's story. Yeah, yeah my friend. Story, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I felt like for a lot of kids, he came at the right time. Yeah. Uh, well, typical story could have happened. I ended up really being part of the gang. Sakwaza and Abankwaza. Yeah. You know, I mean, when I was still in school, it was hectic. It was hectic. Yo, my school, wait, if I'm tender, I'm going to bang a shy and go push along the other side. You know what I mean? Like, it was that bad. So it was like finding out that you can make music and you can do something different. I got baptized and that helped. Yeah. Because God is real. And then I discovered more, met more people. I started uh, recording with my friend who parks and then I recorded my first proper song performed at church like a lot of people I was on fire I still am on fire mm. I mean look at me man <laughs> I'm killing it so um, me like discovering Tyler was like the best thing that happened uh, I get to do things my way 
uh, I know the people who record with me will vouch for me yeah. when I say that. Yeah, it's it's music, but I'm nothing like these guys. I'm nothing like these guys. Uh, I create sure. and I, I create on a level that makes sense to me. Mm. Sure. I'm not rushed by what's trending, what's going on. I'm 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 really tr- having an experience. It's an experience for me. This thing is a proper experience. Sure. It's a tool. It's a survival kit type of thing because it helps me. I write things that work and they make sense. Trust me. Yeah. Sometimes we claim things that we wanna want we want to bring to existence. Um, certain things happen. I wanted to work on a proper tape. We did nothing special. That was like great. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Listen, yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. So nothing special showed me that it's really possible. Mm. Trust me. That's when I sort of believe the sessions. Shout out to Juice again. Allowed us to come to his house record songs and he believed in the vision whether he knew it or not yeah. whether he was doing it because he's like a big brother to me because I know he he sees me like okay. but what he did was major for me because after that nah there was no turning back mm. there was no turning back and mm. I, and I'm grateful that I still do music with the same heart and soul every time when I say that like I don't feel out of place I never feel out of place when I record Yeah, I take time yes but when I come it's, it is what it is. It's going to go down. So Nothing Special was like the best time of my life. People call me Nothing Special. That's not my name. I am D-Ray. Nothing Special was a mixtape. Mm-hmm. You know? In the thing I think. In the thing I think. Yeah. And then, yeah, in the thing I think. Now we have characters back to influences. Yeah. You know, have building a character for a project is really important. Mm-hmm. It allows you to actually channel into that specific space you want to go into. And the thing I think is like the perfect, uh, I don't know, it's so perfect. I've always wanted to rap in Venek. Yeah. Because I was like, why can't I? Because every time I did it, I was like, I sounds, uh, it's not me. It's not me. Yeah. I, you know, I listen to Wayne and everything, but mm-hmm. it came at the right time. At the right time, like I so said. So it's like, the perfect persona mm-hmm. yeah, for it's, you. It's per- I love it. Yeah. I love it. And it's also coming off chilling with my dad a lot. Mm-hmm. That amazing Zulu man. Love him so much. You know, chilling with him is it's always an experience. There's a story uh, behind everything. And he gave me that alter ego, that character, because he was telling us stories. His stories are amazing. He always yeah. wins. It mm. doesn't matter if he was fighting God, though. Like, he every wins. Parent, every parent wins. He's, he's gangster. He yeah. wins every time. And then he was telling me, yeah, I'm not into thing I say, yeah, shy. And I was like, yeah, yeah. But then it was just like, it stuck. And then, man, we here. And is is part of songs now. People love it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm happy with the reception. And as soon as I drop this next tape, it's done. You know, so yeah. It's, it's nice. Can't believe I spoke so much of my musical journey. You did. That's crazy. You did. That's crazy. We've yeah. been here, Sam. It's too crazy. <laughs> We've been here, Sam. We've it's been here. Crazy. Hey, man. Tell them where that Atlantic FM comes from. Hey, man. Yeah, that story, no. No. That's my leg, man. They'll be afraid of me, too. Because, well, budget, well, I have to get into detail. All I'm saying is, yo. I was a part of it. <laughs> yo, Sam was there. He yeah, saw Florida. everything. So, yeah. And from that, I said, let's just, just run with it. <laughs> So yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now you referenced God, right? Yeah. I'd like to know, like, I don't want to call it your journey, but like your relationship with God. How would you describe that, or how would you explain it to someone who doesn't know God? Um, it's a bumpy ride <laughs> in real life. In, on, on, uh, uh, in all honesty, like, excuse me. Uh, it's like. It's every it's everyday thing also. Yeah. You know, uh, it's about discipline, and discipline is a struggle for majority of the people. Yep. In different ways, especially if you choose, because I chose. No one forced me to uh, go to God. Nah, I chose. Mm. It made sense to me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you have to believe in something. Yes. Uh, whatever you believe in, I respect it. You know, if you, like legit in this time, you can't be crushing people for believing in what they believe in. Just let it be. That's, that's how life is. That's yeah. how they survive. Mm. You know, that's what I'm saying. My mom, shout out to my mom. She calls me. Did you pray? Oh, 
At the time, I'm cooked. I'm like, what? <laughs> Pray? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At that time, it's half past eight. I'm late. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm late already. But, you know, it's a bumpy ride. But it's 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 a fun one because uh, there, there, there are revelations. Everything happens for a reason. And then God is the reason most of the time. You pray, you believe, uh, and something happens. And you also have to remember that regardless of God, your decisions also need to make sense. Yeah. Let's take the God factor out for a minute. Uh, I don't want to drift away, but if there was no God, do you think the decisions that we make most of the time would even give us the results we want? That's why we're where we're at. You understand? Yeah. You, you have to align. Like, the people are saying, align, align. That's I'm afraid of using other words because I'm crooked as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm trying my best yeah. to align. That's why I'm like, with God, it's a, it's a choice. And if I had to explain it, I would tell you it's a bumpy ride, but it's it's a good one. Uh, waking up in the morning before I go to work, I read a uh, prayer or something. It's okay to read something that is just clean. Yeah. Mm. Just clean. In the morning or whenever. Just just a clean something. Just, just telling you. Basically, when I read uh, every morning, it's a reminder, encouragement. You could see it as that. That's yeah. why if when people say you believe in God, I'm like, yeah. And then if I just pray, I tell them, now, nah, man, it's nice to be encouraged sometimes. You know how, li- how life goes. Mm. So reading something clean in the morning and then you pray. Like I said, I, I questioned things. Yeah. Like, I was like, prayer. What am I praying to? What like am I I'm praying? closing my eyes every time. But then when you pray sometimes it's it's also similar to just letting some weight off. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's therapeutic. Mm. You know, everything is therapy depending on how you use it. For you know, you, you for real like so it's part of my therapy for me because I know that I struggle, I'm human. That's why God is there, but outside of God, there's some things that align with that God factor. Yeah. Because you chill. You mind your business. Mm. Mm. You try to be productive. You try to clear your head. You try to watch your mouth. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You try all those things. They in the Bible they referenced yeah. a lot. A lot. Mm. A lot. A Bible could just be a book, but yeah, I get it. But there's a yeah. lot of references there. That's why I'm like, yeah. That's why I don't argue with. Like I said, whatever you believe in, cool. I respect it. Just respect what I believe in. Mm. And mm. I believe that God exists. You cannot tell me He doesn't. There's so many. I don't want to compare situations, but we know people who have situations. Problems and situations are different. Problems mm. you can solve them. Situations, bro. Mm. You gotta, bro. Give and, you it know, all to him. And as you, as you grow older, like I said, I was telling you on my age, I am not saying it on the. You tell me when we tell people I'm 35, <laughs> you know. Well. So yeah, like as you grow older, depending on where you're at, also mm. you will see the need of. Something to believe in. Yeah. Something to keep you going. Because so you grow, but it's a cool level of it. It's a cooler, True. and then, and we're experiencing life differently. Our, for example, our parents had to run from the cops. Some of them, some, you know, the, but they, and then when they came, some managed to make it, some did it. Yes. You understand they have their own traumas, but not, we're in a, gen, we're in a space where if you don't have anything that pushes you, man, man, you will suffer. Even True. having people around you, that believe in something which is positive, taking care of self. Mm. That's, that's, it's God-like. Because you're just taking care and believing in something. So yeah, that's all I could say. Like, ah, God, something you believe in, it's a bumpy ride, but you just hold on. Mm. It's one thing you can actually hold on to because it actually happens every day and you can't control it. That's you why you, it, it has to happen. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's about it. So again, I'm fully scripture. I'm fully socks. <laughs> Abu Sam, how would you answer that question? What question? Like, how would you? <laughs> You're not listening. Here's <laughs> the thing: I'm listening, but like, I forgot the question. Like, like, how how would you explain your relationship with God to someone who doesn't believe in God? Hey man, I I don't know how to how to explain it. Mm. To to me, it's like like we said the other day on that episode that never got out um it's 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 more sacred for me yeah to me it's a sacred thing mm-hmm. so i i keep what i what i say what i do in the name of god yeah. to myself i don't want i don't like sharing that i don't like sharing those things mm. but it's an interesting it's an interesting journey though it's a very interesting journey 
it, it's it's rough sometimes because ish, you have to wake up when you're in a hurry and you're like, ish, but I need to pray I first. Pray. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You're so, like, damn, I'm late. Ish, let me just pray quick, quick. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. So it's 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 an interesting journey. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. Okay, for me, if I was to answer the question, right, I'd say it's intimate. It's mm. it's literally your relationship with mm-hmm. him. So one thing I would tell people is shut out all the noise mm. that you hear from other people. It's good to go to church and listen to your pastor preach, right? But you should also have your own understanding mm. of the word because it's so easy for people to falsify the word of God and interpret it how they want to, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember I was on a live not so long ago. It's a Bible study. Those who know it, know it. It's called Jesus This, Jesus That. Mm. Every Thursday at 7 with Rory Sang, right? Mm. She said something and I found it very interesting because I had questions. Like, I think for two weeks, Yonke. I'm like, God, why is it that it's so easy for people like, for other pastors, Utole, Mabati, come, let me pray for you. I don't let just anyone pray for me, mm, right? Mm, but mm. like you get some people and then actually say, no, I see this. And then you have ideas. You should bring them out. And God says one, two, three, right? And I'm like, I've never had that. Mm. Um, and she said, I quote her words, it's possible for you to come across Jesus, but not encounter him, Right. And I was like, huh, now I see it. It mm. made, it kind of pieced together some of the questions that I had. And I was like, it's more so I have to strengthen my relationship with God and not try to depend on other people to help me strengthen my relationship with him. Right. So if I was to answer the question, I would say it's intimate. I was just say something. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, Shout out to my boy Socks. Like also, like what he did for us. We, the, we had a youth service. That youth service, I promise you, it was like going to a very nice chilled out vibe on a Friday. Yeah. On a Friday, like hundred and twenty kids, they would come in, would have movie nights, would go ice skating. Um and remember he's a pastor, like certified, real, real yeah. pastor. Mm. But then how we made it human to believe in God, like, don't be too perfect. Don't be holier than thou. Be yeah. human enough to understand what you try. Mm. You know, and that's why even now we have this uh, uh, young adults group we go to. It's young adults for like people from 18 to like 35. It, it's still like church based, but we just talk about life. Yeah. You came on a Friday, you're like, hey, he hasn't fit. Yeah. <sighs> you know, and then after that, maybe he says something just to lift you up, and then maybe next you're playing. Yeah. Uh, FIFA, you playing pool and you're just chilling with people you don't know. You're just catching up. That's why I'm like, like you just said, just shut out the noise. Go to what you have to go to. Mm. Uh, it's good for you. Refresh yourself all the time. You have to. Like that's why also with social media, I was telling you guys, I was like, Ugh. you see the way Sawati's arms are folded. Yeah. Her question is, why are you not inviting us? Yeah. Yeah. Why? No, no. Let me explain. <laughs> we just we just started it. <laughs> It's just like it's not that it's not that old. It's like if it's like six weeks old. Yeah, it is old though. I'm sorry. It's, it's very old. No, a baby old. smart by then, little little baby smart by then. But yeah, those things. That's why I'm like, it has to make sense to you also. Like I said, no one is forcing you. Yeah, you know, make it make sense. Question things. Um, you know, yeah, but yeah, let me not pop scriptures out here. Oh, I'm mm. about to, because in the word it says, "Come as you are." Hallelujah. It doesn't say, "Come perfect." So. Yes, sir. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You referenced a lot of people, like you gave people shout outs. Mm-hmm. I like that, mm. right? Because most people would pretend as if the entire journey was all on them, mm. right, and not give shout outs to other people, mm. and. I appreciate you for that. There's no mm-hmm. question on that. I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they, they, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to everybody cooking in the kitchen, two way subway, you know, three, two, five, gang signs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking out, praying for my people, see what, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. But thank you. Yeah. So now we're getting into a little bit of a, right? Mm. It's, it's lighthearted. You're not very much on social media. Yeah, but no. I'm trying to figure it out. But um, what would you say? is your guilty pleasure on tiktok or on instagram or twitter if you're on twitter 
what is your guilty pleasure? Like you, you just watch. Mm. I'll tell you on TikTok. I'm trying, I'm trying to think. I'm, uh, one, sorry, one, uh, <laughs> one app I use a lot is definitely X or mm-hmm. Twitter. Uh, yeah, but I just be watching like mostly it's soccer. soccer yeah. Yeah. I love soccer. Guys, listen. Chicken chili. Before wrap up, Gabampela Gabampela. When we get all into so it's when I played it. I still play it till this day because it's part of my tool. Like it yeah. helps me get better and everything. So I used to love soccer. So watching it is nice. I support Liverpool. We're going to have a good season <clears throat> this season. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, that's all I want to <laughs> say. Shout out to all the people at home. Uh, but <laughs> Wow, so, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I told you I have to. I practiced. So please remind me. Well, what you I'm, can be your true self. What, 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 what am I supposed to be talking about? You answered the question. Your guilty pleasure. Question, guilty pleasure. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's all. Like that's all I do, and it's it's nice. I it's it's really nice. Mm. Just watching my favorite team. Yeah. Getting wallpapers. You should see my wallpaper right now. <laughs> we still in that area. Of my wallpaper look, look at my. You should yeah. see my wallpaper now. It's my team, man. We we doing good. I'm so happy. But mm. yeah, I love watching that. He knows. Like yeah. he, I don't have to do it. Music. Is, the thing is, also with like music thingies, I'm working on a project. I'm kind of closed in. Mm. Uh, I get influenced easily because music is nandy, guys. Yeah. So I'm closed in. I'm not listening to anything. I'm just listening to beats and everything. And yeah. Thank you. And with this, um, what's your guilty pleasure? Hey, 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 me on TikTok. Mm. <laughs> Wallet. <laughs> you see those Reddit posts, dog? The Reddit. The, the, the Reddit. With the Minecraft. There is, bro. With the Minecraft. Yeah. And it be wild, bro. This shit's fire. Mm-hmm. All, I be on TikTok watching those. And I go to watch part three. Yeah. Know, but then I don't I don't share them on Askies. Oh, no, <laughs> they pop them. up on my FRP too. I see them. Shout out to algorithm. What's your guilty pleasure? Uh, Shout my guilty pleasure. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah. No, it's, some people would say it's disgusting because not a lot. Uh, people of popping. Hey. Yes, I love pimple popping. I love like, like when they remove. Thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a bird man. I'm like out. when they remove um, <laughs> hey, no the EOX from the air. Uh, um, when they remove the black heads, those are my guilty. Like, oh, I love those so much. And then I love the ASMRs. What is this? Bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. And uh, the restocking. Okay, no, it's fine. You're traumatizing. But the, this is clean. When they like restock the fridge, they are cupboards. Well, yeah, they are, what, yeah what, you know, the restocking watch. and all with what the, the ASMR. With the in the bag, though. With the? With the radio in the back, I'm watching it. Nah. Also, can I just say the one random cool thing? Mm-hmm. Can I say whatever? Yes, you can. You can say whatever, bro. Okay, cool. Because, hey. Hi. I'm, I, I'm back again. <laughs> uh, one of the random things that I like doing like, is just watching National Geographic or like that, those uh, where they just people buying houses. Yeah. I just smoke weed, get high as hell, and just like fade out. Dolphins are amazing. Did you know that? But dangerous. I know, but they, they are as long as I'm watching them from TV, I'm safe. Okay. Yeah. Well, and then you just turn the volume up and you just look at the, the beautiful water and the little fishes just... Whew. Bro, I'm telling you, you should try that. And then you just chill and you just get couples trying to buy houses. Mm. I'm into that because I want a nice house. Yeah. Also, I want a beautiful house, a great house. As in Namangi and Kali for three months because I cannot believe this is my house. Yeah. I want a nice house and a dolphin. Dolphins are psychopaths. They're crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. They're but crazy. They're... Now, moving on mm-hmm. to the last part, right? This is the first time we do this we'll for a special guest. We'll, we'll right? play some, some song association. Yeah, it's kind of like song association. They'll be finished the lyrics and then you have to guess some. We'll, we'll tell you which one it is. No cheating. Sam, don't tell him. Don't show no, him. No, I'm just looking at Sam because you really think I'm going to pull this off. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so you're going to have to finish the lyrics. Some of these are your favorite songs. They are. Hee hee! No. I told you I curated this episode for you. It's a really special. Who? A D-Ray special. Ugh, a D-Ray special. He, she needs to get that right. She oh even texted me telling me that 
I don't care. You as well. You are. <laughs> she's, she's rude, this one. You are. <laughs> This one is rude, though. It's not good. Like, it's a D Ray special. Sorry. It's a D Ray special. No, don't ask me. No, don't ask Yes. So, Sam, I'm going to ask you to do the blue one. Mm. Which blue one? There's oh, two. Sorry, sorry, there's, sorry. there's two, right? Yeah. Um, His favorite artist, not your song. His uh, favorite uh, artist. Yeah. His? Yeah. All right, cool. So what what is is this one is pretty stylistic, ne? Yeah, you do the two white, and then he will have to read the black. Yo, Actually, he will yeah. have to fill in with the black. Yo, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to wrap it in in pattern. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to read like a sentence. Hey, well, I gave it to you because you. I thought you would actually. Uh, uh, okay. Listen, guys. It's the lyric. Okay. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I love everything that's happening right now. I don't know what's going on with these songs. <laughs> 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 yeah. I might be tired. You know, I just cut off a play. Jet lag, you know, you never know. You know oh, how rappers oh, do. Yeah. The broomstick, the broomstick level. Let's go. <laughs> Number one, gentlemen, I was like, I wasn't trying to fuck. But it was my first official date, so I was stuck like it was past curfew and we was at the grove. grove. Yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's awkward by the Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's all it was had. past curfew. And we was at the Grove. Yep. Yeah. Man, why am I missing? Uh, why am I missing this? Lyric? It's like, and it kills me every time. <laughs> it was past curfew, just, and we was at the Grove. And she's giving you signs there. Hey, and then you held my nose. No, 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 no. What is that? What is this when they say it? And it was. What is that? And it was. What is that? What happens in summer? What helps plants grow? Rain. And it was raining. Yep. Yeah. And I had to be home. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then you held my hand, talking about you get home safe yeah. or something. <laughs> but I remember is your motherfucking face. Yeah, face. Oh, man. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love you so much. I'm okay. so happy. So this we, one... can, we can stop it. It's done. I'm, happy. <laughs> I'm done. Like, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Yo. This one is gonna give it away. Try, let's see. Which one is it? Uh, it it's the brownish one. Yeah. Same artist, same artist. Ah. Oh. Ah. It's gonna give it away. I, I'm just gonna, I'm not I'm not even going to read like the first three. Same is over. like I'm just going to like say these two lines and he will know. He has no. He has to guess the name for this one. Oh, read, guess the name. Read from. Ah, uh, he's going to. The, the name is in the. But I'm just going to no, say. No, read. Skip the first five. Mm. Yeah, that's five. Then, that line. Yeah, say that line alone. Hawaiian shirts in the winter, cold, wet, cold water, cold water. <laughs> Hawaiian shirts in the winter, cold water, cold water. Or uh, what am I doing here? Guess the song. Guess the song. Uh, cold wind blows. No. Nope. Oh. Hawaiian shirts in the winter, cold water, cold water. Oh, good. Uh, give me one more time. Hawaiian sessions is cold water, deep thoughts. Uh, Take me back to November. Yeah, yeah hey, you got it. To, hey, man, that's my favorite. That song is so hard, man. <laughs> Again, I love these people. <laughs> I love how they just messing with me and overrating <laughs> me. But I, I'm glad. I'm a, I'm a true fan. Let's get it. Okay, I'm going to take this one because you didn't know it. Yeah. Um, she's going to punish me. I'm sure she's going to punish me. You know this one. You know this one. I have faith in you, Sadie. <laughs> like, I have faith in let's you. Let's go. Let's, let's go. If I give you my heart, would you throw it away? Do you mean what you say when you tell me you love me? Do you really? Do you really? Edie Beedie Bitch is a neurologist. Numerologist, sorry. Hmm. What you talking about, Willis? Don't you know it? Okay, okay. I'll say I'll say from do you really, but with how he sings it. Yeah. Do you really? Do you, do you really? really? Oh, yeah. Uh, sir. Yes. Uh, I'm just trying to let my, my head down. Yeah, my head yeah. Down. yeah. <laughs> what was I supposed to do there? Guess the name. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yo, uh, but she, so what? Ah, uh, zero, zero. <laughs> she, she read it like it's a question paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I heard it. I was like, dude. I was like, sir. I was like, yo, 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 yo. Okay. You can take the last. Is it the last? Uh, no, no, it's the second last. What do you mean, the second? The last? South African artist. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm Zazzy. Yo, I love you guys. <laughs> we got the vibes. I got the vibes. Hop in the ride. Let's take a ride. 
Maybe you know. Why do you know? Womanizer. Maybe you know you're a womanizer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Guess the song. Yeah. yeah. Yo, guys. Excitement, the young shy. Can I be honest? Mm. Like it's the excitement. That's all. I never thought I'd answer these questions because I was like, I ain't doing podcasts in my life. I'm a real nigger. I'm just gang banging in the streets, you know. Damn. Gang banging where? Damn. Let me tell you. Is it in the streets? I'm joking, dog. I'm <laughs> not gang banging, guys. I'm hustling. Yo, guys. Ariana has the same song. Ariana. A, a same title. Same title. Mm. But then, in McLaren's one, there's a color. <laughs> She should have given you the answer. <laughs> answer mm. I'm not sure, guys. Guys, can you help me? No, I'm suffering. I just helped you. I gave you a hint. And and it's you know there was it's a bit, from his you know, album. Okay, that's that's Yes, that's mm-hmm. Hold up. Hold Second up. last song. Aye, right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why is it not coming to me? You know, it's funny. We had a conversation. Yeah, we had a conversation about this gent. No way. Shut it down, bro. Wink. No, I concede. Okay. Um, the name of the song, God is a Black Woman. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is God is a Black Woman? Yeah. <laughs> God is a Black Woman. So Matlera, this one is yours. You're the best. Matlera, don't worry, dog. Shout out. Where must I stop? Hmm? Where must I stop? Must I sing a lot how it, how it sang? What is it supposed to guess here? The, the name. The name? Mm. So I must just sing it. Yeah. If you vibrate, low, no. Bum, 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 that's my way. Sweet money. Heavy on a honey, honey, come have your way. <laughs> Ooh, you're so damn funny. I could just laugh all day. <laughs> Shit is wicked, nigga. Let's go. You passed me you know, an artist. You know, I'm exhausted. Come an on. album. Ah. Name of art- the artist, song, song album. An album. Come on, buddy. If you vibrate, no, don't. Bum, 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 that's my way. You're running out of time. Is this me and Jake's? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Start with the album. Album. Start with start with artist album. You get to the song. It'll be easier for you to do that. Maybe. No, guys, this is not easy at all. Mm. You don't know this one. She. Five, four, three. You won't be mad at yourself. Two, one. Please don't tell me that. Is it raw, no. Sam? No. Who do you think it was? Let's start, let's start. Who do you think it is? No, just tell me. I must just tell you. It's yeah. me, no. I said to me, ah. Garden Lady. My friend. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hate? It's, it's like when I look at, now that you're trying to be nice, we have no cameras. Just wink something. That's like. You know what's there. funny? You were singing along. Mm. It was like, uh, every on the let's go. Now I Listen. see why people actually say we need visuals. Yeah. Because yeah. this uh, would have been. Chaotic. <laughs> Yo, did you see me fainting? <laughs> I love it though. I would never get Tyler wrong though. You or oh, oh, my mama. Never. It's risky. Yeah. So, final words before we close. On me. Yeah, mm-hmm. you. On tenders. I go. I go. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> final <laughs> words. You can pray. Final words is um, this was amazing. Mm. Um, enjoy life. Mm. It's difficult, but enjoy. Believe in yourself. Mm. Uh, hustle hard in Dwana. You'll get to the bag, you'll get to the soft life, but you gotta go through some shit first. Not give up. Yeah. That's all I can say. Like honestly, I don't have anything else because like I'm saying, we're growing old and all that delicious call is tough. But just push my dog. You know, you got it. Watch. I'm gonna boom in like a few two years in even a year. Now we get you know what I'm saying? But just keep pushing, believe in yourself. You're a superstar and I take FM say rank I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. So your socials. Do you want them to follow you? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sure. give them your socials. Uh okay. your, your music uh, where they can find it. Hold your Mac. <laughs> Hold your Mac. We deleted everything. Shit. Wait, okay, give us your socials. I'm gonna drop a song. Yeah, we'll drop a song. Let's drop it. Let's let's share this P two weeks. Okay, sure. I, I know it's okay. Oh, sorry. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a a lot. Sad oh, conversations. Hey, bro. Uh, catch me 
I don't really uh, this Twitter account I'm using is just like it's a burner. A, it's a burner, so I won't give it out because I'm just like really just checking out football. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Instagram. Instagram. Dire underscore Corsa or if you find the thing at league. Yeah. Was on born. Yeah. But I couldn't smile somewhere there, and um something on audio mag is D-Ray, uh, Ego Death. Wanna drop something? I don't know, Sam. I'm Maybe. saying I'm saying all DSPs. All DSPs. Mm. All DSPs on double double E. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm out. No doing a thing. D Ray, about peace. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. I love you guys. We Swear. love you too. We love, love you, guys. bro. It's been a pleasure having you as our guest. Mm. And as always, mm. and we haven't been riding by ourselves. We've been with him. Enjoy game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Every time she says we're signing out, I say we'll be inside. Yeah. You've been listening to the diary sessions and we out. Bye. But we're inside. I will bye.